Hello, my name is Troy Gray. I'm the director of Spindletop Gladys City Boomtown Museum in Beaumont, Texas. Today, in our walk around the museum, we are in the Beaumont Oil Exchange building. And this building has three rooms. It has the Beeman's Print Shop in the back. It has a law office in the middle. We're gonna be in there in a minute. And then you have the oil exchange in the front that has a listing of names of some of the companies that formed back then. And so we're gonna come in here. We've been choosing an object and uh, talking about it. And there's so many objects in all of the buildings. But today I wanna to talk about John C. Ward. I'm trying to get so there's not a big glare. Uh, there you go. And John Ward is uh, somebody who was in Beaumont a long time. He was in uh, many businesses here. Uh, he had uh, b successful businesses in Boma uh, Ice Light and Refrigerating Company. He was uh, in Rice. He was president of the First National Bank and then um, uh, stopped it when it uh, went to Gulf National Bank. Uh, and then, of course, he was also in the oil. So he had a lot of different businesses. He, and so he was born in Titus County, Texas in 1851. And he was brought to Beaumont by his parents when, when he was only five years old. And most of the time he spent in Beaumont, although he has short stints uh, in Corpus Christi uh, and from 1893, uh, or I guess um, 1889 to 1893. And then he was also in Waco in 1902 and 1907. But otherwise he was in Boma or doing all of those different businesses. Uh, he actually started in the lumber business when he was 16 years old. His father died and he went to work at uh, the sawmill of Long J and Sons. And then he stayed there for four years and he really got to know the business very well. And he started a, another a mill in uh, Smith Bluff and um, he was there for a while and then he organized the Sabine Mill Company and he moved that uh, company eventually from Orange to Beaumont and called it the Bo Beaumont Lumber Company. And so again, he went to Corpus Christi and then he came back and ran the Boma Ice Light and Refrigerated Company. He got interested in rice farming and that's what he was doing uh, when the oil was struck on January 10th, 1902. Uh, this is when he uh, started to organize very early the Ward Oil and Fuel Company. And this quickly became the Keith Ward Oil Company. And this is actually on our board right here. Uh, the Keith uh, Ward and Oil Company, you can see it right there. Uh, so, um, it was a quite a successful business and he was quite a successful businessman. He, as I said, left to Waco and uh, then he came back and was part of the um, uh, bank business. And then he, he went into uh, the ice business after that and he took over the uh, Texas Ice Company, which was organized by his son. And that's what he was doing when he died. So a lot of these facts come from his obituary. And um, so a uh, very, very interesting guy and very well uh, connected to the oil at Spindletop and a lot of other things at, uh, in Beaumont. So very interesting. So um, in September, we have a, uh, a big month. We have a lot of things going on. Uh, we have um, the uh, <clears throat> wood carving class and the, the um, Bla uh, Bladesmith class, both on September 11th. If you want to be in those classes, the Bladesmith classes actually has no spots left. We're kind of happy about that. Uh, but uh, the wood carving class is $40. Give us a call and we'll get you connected to that. Also, um, on September 23rd, it's a Thursday, we're having our next uh, music and wine event. This is a good way just to relax out here, go through the buildings, hear some really great music and uh, relax out here. That's from uh, 6 to 8 that night. And then um, 
after that, on September 26, we had the closing of the historical uh, Southeast Texas uh, art show. And um, that starts at two, and then at four o'clock, we'll have our first uh, uh, open mic community picnic uh, night. Uh, that's from four to six. So we just wanted to, to provide space out here. We have a lot of space uh, at the museum to relax, do things like they would do back then. Uh, open mic because there was a lot of outside entertainers at that time. So um, that's kind of why we are doing that. So uh, get involved and come out and we'll see you uh, next week.